Yeah, this morning. This morning, the. The Euro Aussie looks like. Wants to break. I agree with you. Uh, it already broke the uh, 134.23, <coughs> so it's pretty much on the sell side. And you have another selling point, which is the 114. Yeah, you have it. Yeah, the uh, 134.11. Uh, so it's pretty close there. So right, yeah, that's that's probably would be a, a good shorting position. Let me see the euro index. And on the euro index, if you look at the euro as a whole, you have a sell signal on the index of the basket of the euro. So uh, that's probably uh, a good indication. Let's see the euro dollar. The euro seems to be quite uh, weak this morning. We have a sell signal on the index and a sell signal on the uh, on the euro Aussie and on the euro dollar. And if we look at the radar screen, you can see that all of the euro pairs have turned short in the overnight, and all of them with strong reversals. And most of our short points have been triggered. So our short point has been triggered in the uh, Euro Aussie, in the Euro CAD, and in the Euro Pound, and as well as the uh, Euro Swiss. The only thing that is, huh. so basically everything is turning negative, and you got one, two, three structure points have already been triggered on the Euro. So the Euro is probably, just by looking at the radar screen, looking at the uh, short point and structure short point uh, you'd see that the euro out of the whole radar screen the euro is the now the, the 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 one with the highest candidate to be short uh, it did not retrace much with the Aussie and it did not retrace much versus the CAD or the pound so probably the uh, the euro is now the uh, the prime candidate to look at this morning uh, on the short side.